Programs regularly scheduled for this time have been canceled in order to bring you taped highlights of today's impeachment day ceremonies. Here, live on tape from Washington, D.C., are our commentators, Wallace Gladstone and Barbara Merkin. It's a perfect day for impeachment activities here in our nation's capital, where together with dozens and dozens of our fellow Americans, Barbara and I are on hand for this history-making event. What do you say, Barbara? Well, it certainly is, Wallace. The skies are gray and overcast, the trees are bare, and the birds are wheezing. Thank you. That'll be all, Barbara. And, of course, there is a slight drizzle falling here on Pennsylvania Avenue, but as someone remarked earlier, a few more drips won't even be noticed in this town. <laughs> Isn't that right, Barbara? Yes, Wallace, it certainly is. Okay, thank you again, Barbara. And, of course, I see the impeachment day parade is getting underway now. And, uh, yes, with the march past of the states. And here they come now, and some of these floats certainly aren't breathtaking, aren't they? Here's Alabama. And now there's a most unusual one, wouldn't you say, Barbara? Yes, Wallace. It looks like an enormous pile of broken machinery that seems to be a backfiring from time to time. Right you are, Barbara. And, of course, that's the southern strategy float. And now here comes Alaska with what looks like... Well, now, how would you describe it, Barbara? Well, it looks it seems sort of to be like... a gigantic oil sludge with, yes... I think those are dead caribou scattered around in it. Certainly one of the most expensive floats in this parade and quite a personal tribute to Mr. Nixon. As the states continue to pass by and review, I notice that Massachusetts seems to be, well, it seems to be out of step. Uh, no, Wallace. I think if you look closely, you'll see that all the other states are out of step. Massachusetts seems to be marching to a different drummer. Oh, okay, very clever, Barb.